Here's a quick overview of how to get started with the layer creator. When you log in, the first screen you'll see is the redesigned campaign overview screen. Here you can quickly access all of your campaigns or create a new one. You can use these filters at the top to sort your campaigns by drafts, published campaigns, archived campaigns, and more. On the right hand side, you'll notice something new. We call these cards, and they're designed to serve as helpful tips and information that is relevant to you. You can scroll down the page to view more. To view more information about one of your campaigns, simply hover over it with your mouse. To add a new campaign, just click the giant plus sign, give your campaign a title, and select a campaign type. The next step is to add pages to your campaign. We use the term page to refer to images of whatever it is you want to add interactive digital content to. This could include a magazine page, a business card, product packaging, a flyer, an advertisement, etc. You can import pages from another campaign, or even import pages and their digital content from another campaign. Click on Add New Pages or drag and drop your files here to add them to your campaign. Take a look at our tips on the right for some pointers before you upload your pages. We'll analyze your pages to make sure they're suitable for use with interactive print. But in the meantime, you can get started editing right away. On the edit screen, you'll see your pages on the left, the canvas of the page you're editing in the center, and the buttons you can add to it on the right. Something new you'll notice is that we now offer suggested buttons based on the campaign type you chose. You can also sort buttons by category, or view your custom buttons if you have any. To access custom buttons and other advanced features, you'll need to add a premium account subscription. To add a button to your page, just drag and drop it from the right onto your page. In this case, we've added a video button. All you need is the URL of the video you want to add. Next, we'll add a link button by entering the URL and the label we want for it. You can also use your own custom image for any button if you like. There's no need to save your work. The layer creator now auto-saves all of your work so you never lose any progress accidentally. At the top of the screen, you'll notice our new tab interface for jumping between different phases of the creation process. Click the cogwheel to change your campaign settings. Here you can upload an icon for your campaign and see how it will be displayed on mobile devices. The Collaborate tab lets you invite others to contribute to your campaign. And the Test tab helps you test your campaign to make sure everything works as expected. With the new Layer Creator, you no longer need to log into the Layer app to test your campaign. While you're on the Test tab, you can scan your pages with the Layer app to see how your campaign looks. You can also quickly switch between pages on the left. When everything is ready, just tap the Publish button to share your campaign with the world. You can use your page credits to publish, or you can publish a free campaign that will display ads to those that view it. If you don't have any credits, you'll need to purchase some before publishing. Once you've published your campaign, we recommend creating a promotional landing page to help spread the word. On the Promote tab, just drag over a few example pages to display on your promotion page. Then, add a description of your campaign and click Make it Public. You can share the page on social media, or simply copy the URL to share as you like. On the Stats tab, you can check in on the performance of your campaign over time. Back in the Campaign Overview, you can easily manage your campaigns. To archive or delete a campaign, just hover over it and click the trash can icon in the upper right corner. You can add more credits to your account by clicking on the top card on the right. Save on credits by purchasing a bundle. And that's it! Get started today at layer.com slash creator.